Hi friends, my name is Holly Haddam and I'm a children's book author and illustrator. I also illustrated the book Maxine and the Greatest Garden Ever. Let's get reading. Maxine and Milton made a perfect pair. When Maxine was bored, Milton made her laugh. When Milton was hungry, Maxine served up snacks with style. And whenever they heard their favorite song, dance party. Maxine liked making things and she especially liked making things for Milton. If I can dream it, I can build it, she said. Lucky for her, Milton provided plenty of inspiration. Sometimes their friend Leo came over. Leo liked making things too, just in a different way. One day, they made an exciting discovery. Let's make a garden, said Leo. Let's make the greatest garden ever. Milton grinned from gill to gill. He hoped the new garden would also include a pond. First, they drew their designs. Leo's was pretty. Maxine's was practical. Next, they planted. Maxine thought Leo's seeds looked lonely. Leo thought Maxine seemed squished. Lucky for Milton, the one thing they agreed on was his pond. Every day they watered and waited and waited until they had grown the greatest garden ever. I mean, wouldn't you want a garden like this? I really would. But their garden had other admirers. What happened? cried Leo. Animals, said Maxine. Let's make something to keep them away. Something that looks nice, asked Leo. Something that works. They sculpted and stuffed, fitted and fluffed. Can you make it move? asked Leo. Maxine thought that was a silly question. Unfortunately, the animals didn't know they were supposed to be afraid. You were supposed to keep them away, said Leo to the scarecrow. You didn't help. Maybe he did, said Maxine. Now we know what doesn't work. That's important too. How could they make their scarecrow scarier? They hammered and hitched, measured and switched. Then while Leo sewed, Maxine wrote some code. They made a critter creeping, laser tripping, disco ball blinking, tuba tooting. Super spectacular scarecrow. Sorry animals, the salad bar's closed. This time it worked a little too well. Your circuits made the tuba to tooty, said Leo. Your disco ball made the lights to blinky, said Maxine. It's all your fault. And that was the end of that. The next day, Maxine couldn't stop thinking about the garden. All that hard work, and now everything was a big mess. She had to make things better, and she wanted to start with Leo, because it takes a long time to grow a garden, but even a longer time to grow a friend. You're right, she said. A tuba was too tooty. I messed up too, Leo replied. My bright idea was too bright. They nibbled on the last of the lettuce and thought about how to fix the garden. Meanwhile, Milton made his feed me face. Hungry? We can share. The animals! That's why they keep coming back, said Maxine. Milton, you're the smartest fish ever! With a better design, they wouldn't need a scarecrow. If I make this work, can you make it look nice? Leo thought that was a silly question. First, they unstuffed the scarecrow. Then they repaired, replanted, and redecorated. Finally, Leo adjusted the audio. Finished! Almost, said Maxine. We need one more thing. Friends! Look how much fun everyone's having together. 
thank you for joining me friends until next time